For part three on our series of demonstrations on creating threaded features, I want to show you how we can leverage some of the, the tools in SOLIDWORKS part mode to very quickly create section views and use those in a drawing. Here we have our threaded part, and a lot of times it's common for us to want to look at a section view. I'll orient ourselves in the front plane and just use the section view command from the heads up toolbar. So we get a nice view of the section of this model. Now that's a, a, a command that a lot of users are already comfortable with and familiar with. However, what you may not have noticed is the save button that appears at the bottom of the property manager. When I choose this save button, I have two choices. The first, to save a view orientation. This will save the current view orientation as a custom or named view that I can return to at any time. The second option is to save this view as a drawing annotation view. You'll want to enable this option. Now, at any time, I can hit the spacebar, bring up my view orientation panel, and you can see the newly created named view. SOLIDWORKS returns me to that view orientation and places me in section view mode. So a very convenient way to store section views of my model. But here's where it really gets interesting. Let's create a drawing of this part. Using the make drawing from part command and specifying my desired template. In my new drawing, you'll now see that I have named views for the section view. You'll need to begin by dragging the parent view indicated by the section lines. And then, back on your view palette, drag the desired section view. SOLIDWORKS is automatically placing that section view that we created in the part mode right onto our drawing. That saves us several steps here in the drawing environment. And what else is great is I can very quickly use my mouse gestures to create a detail view of that threaded region. Remember that this feature was created from a series of revolved cuts rather than a true helical geometry. But in a section view, it looks good either way because we still get an accurate representation of the, the thread profile and we still get a great 3D representation of what that thread looks like in a detail view, regardless that it's not a true helix. So this is a great way that we can leverage the section view from the part model to very quickly create our 2D drawings with section and detail views in tow.